Hello everyone. A friend of mine called me this morning and was telling me she was having trouble with a mouse in the house and she didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to set the trap. She freaked out, went to Walmart, bought every trap she could find, threw out all the food and bought new food, put it all in new little plastic containers. She's freaked out. <laughs> so she don't know how to set a trap, so I was going to show her how to set a trap. It's pretty simple. Basic mouse trap, you know, no big deal. Peanut butter is the best bait. It's sticky, it's smelly, they can't resist it. it. Makes it to where they have to get in there and like chew on it to get to it. So, best thing to do is just kind of smear a little bit right on the end of it, like that. Get it on that little tang there. And you pull the bell back. I got some peanut butter on that. I don't want them going over there chewing on it. But yeah, you just pull it back. Hold it like that. And set this little guy up under there. Make sure that this is kind of pivoted up a little bit. Slowly release the tension so there's tension on that rod. Now, this thing might flip up and scare you, freak you out, whatever, because it's just on the like hair trigger, so they say, but you got to get it basically just right, just kind of stick it up in there, just right, least the tension on that bell so it's got some friction, I can't get this one to hook right for some reason, it can be tricky sometimes it seems. There we go. No. That's not correct. I'm having trouble with it. I like the ones that are um, metal. I don't really care for these little plastic ones. They don't, for me, they don't hook as well. But you, you do definitely want it on like a hair trigger. You want it really sensitive. So it's like usually just barely kind of caught on there. Usually you don't really want to hold it by this end. You usually want to hold it by this end because if it does flip out on you, it's going to smack the crap out of you. If you hold it on this end, if it flips, you know, it's just going to scare you. It's not really going to get you or nothing. It'll pop out of your hand or something like that. I cannot get this one to stay though. See, I'm doing it wrong right now. I'm going to get the crap popped out of me doing it like that. Always hold this in. And there it is. And it is on a hair trigger. I mean, if you set it down too hard, even it's gonna pop, you know. So you got to be real careful with it. Whenever you set it down, you set it down nice and easy, and place it in a corner. I'm not an exterminator or anything like that. I've just, you know, had the case where. Pretty much everybody else in the world has always had the same problem. There's been a mouse in the house before. It's not the end of the world. He's not going to come bite you. They can be nasty little fuckers if you uh, let them remain. So definitely whenever you see one, or not, you don't even have to see it. You see evidence of one being around. Get rid of it as soon as you can. Damn it. They can be tricky. These little plastic ones, they're super hair triggers, man. That little piece of plastic slick. And it does not want to catch sometimes. Okay, finally. So there it is. And then when you place it, place it in the corner with this facing the wall. That's usually the best. Up against the wall, up underneath the toe of your cabinet, wherever it was that you've seen the evidence, just place it in, on the floor nearby there, like she had seen it in her cupboard. So I told her just open up the, you know, big pantry, like just open up that pantry, place it in the floor in the corner up against the wall, like that's, this would be the wall or something, just place it up in there. And he's gonna come in there, man, he's gonna get that shit. He's gonna get eaten. Now, he's not gonna, excuse me, he's gonna try to eat that peanut butter. And he's going to get smacked in the head. It might be a little gruesome outcome for him. 
But uh, like, yeah, like I told her, just pick the trap up, throw it away if you don't want to deal with it. That's usually the best thing to do anyway. All right, that'll do it. Hope you catch your mouse, Emily. See you.